But well, today's the day we decided to get out of town. Right, Charlie? We're going for a ride. We're going to someplace we ain't been before. Now, when I say we ain't been before, we're going to go to Athens, Georgia. We live about as far from Athens, Georgia as we do from Anderson, South Carolina. And we get up to Anderson, South Carolina many times a week. Seems like every time we need something bigger than a bread box, we wind up going to Anderson. And there's a guy named Mr. Chevy Man down in Athens, Georgia. He keeps saying, why don't you come down to the bar stay and eat and we'll meet up with each other. Anyway, me and Honey Babe were just sitting around waiting for them guys to deliver this new garage. They said they said it was going to deliver yesterday or today. And I just called them and I said, so where are y'all at? And they said, oh, we ain't coming until maybe Friday or maybe not even then. So we looked at each other just like this. Wait a minute, let me get the camera shooting both. Like this. And we said... Let's get out of here. Let's go discover Athens, Georgia. It's a big college town. There's things happening down there. Go dogs and all of that. They might, the varsity's down there. There might be a, other cool places to eat or things to do or things to see or happening. You know, it's a happening town. I've heard it's a happening town and we ain't there. And we just sitting around here waiting. I'm getting tired of sitting around here waiting. So we decided to jump in the little buggy and scoot. So that's what we're doing now. We're scooting. We're scooting. We're scooting. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. You, you got anything to add? What? Uh, what? You, you got anything to add? No. Okay. <laughs> Camera off. Click. So we literally drove into Athens, not knowing where we are or where we're going, or what we're looking for, or how to find our way around a place we're not familiar with, which is kind of fun, I guess. You know, it's like it's more than the blind leading the blind; it's the lost leading the lost, I guess. So. There's a little park here with a lot of signs. And oh, I walk up to the park, first thing I see is guns. The gun assemblage, assembled by hand, stamped with the name of the armory, date, and assembly number. So this was Weaponry Cooks Brothers, manufacturing guns for the Confederate Army. Weapons produced in the water-powered armory were heralded as some of the finest in the South. I never knew that. Huh. Huh, Cook's Brothers. Whoa, baby. Mm. Something new to collect. Sold them gate knockers, bells, fire irons, and other items to provide brass or gun parts. Huh? Wow. Hot and jeans and so thumbnails. Huh? Guns from Cook Brothers Army were prized on the battlefield. And they were accurate, reliable, and easily prepared. Hmm. Mm. Union Major General George Stoneman's raiders approached Athens, found a few old men and boys and a battalion of workers from Cook Brothers Armory defending the bridge over Barber's Creek. After a brief skirmish, the Yankee columns was forced to detour and were captured at King Tanyards near present-day Winder, Georgia. The 300 prisoners were brought to the University of Georgia campus. I didn't know the University of Georgia had been was in old? existence during the Civil War <laughs> before being sent to Andersonville Prison. Oh, there's a lot to know about this place. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. It looks like we've come to the place to learn it. Well, it's a good place to start. I mean, yeah, yeah walk around. That looks like the start there. Right? We're going to walk down to the end and, and work this, our way up. Well, yeah. This we're going go over there and work our way well, up. Well, it just seems like that's like the end, and then we go up around this way. Lead the way, baby. <laughs> So this talks about the first industry along North Oconee River, so that must be what we're standing next to. It's a river right there. Flour, cotton, sawmill, oak, and hickory, chestnut, pine trees. I'm going to turn the camera off so we can walk around without me narrating everything. Uh -huh. 